Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show how to set up a Cascade Lookup. Right now we are looking at a ticketing system and in this ticketing system the ticket has two Cascaded Lookups already going on. These are Account and Contact and Category and Issue Type. For example, if I go here to Category and I change it to another category here, the Issue Type changes and I have a different selection than I had previously. Now we have on the Additional Information, information tab a brand and a product these are not cascading right now it's just a list a column inside a choice column inside the list and the product name has to be typed in manually we want to change this to be cascading here is an example of the brand and products that we want to do so we will set this up so it's cascading such that if someone chooses one of the brands the list of products will show up and they'll be able to select those so the way this is done is you have to create a list for the brand. The brand is just a list with just the title in it. There is nothing, uh, no other columns are needed there. So what we're going to do here is create this list and we're going to add content to it and we're going to put in those four brands. Each one is a separate item by itself and it just has the title. That's it. So one is sticky glue Another is the super cock. Another is the weather boss. Now these could be any type of uh, things that you want to cascade. Uh, you know, but the first, the high level, the parent level, just needs to be simply the uh, title and the as many uh, categories, brands, accounts, whatever you want to put here. So we have four right here. Our next uh, uh, next thing we have to do is go create another list. So we're going to create another list, and this one is for the products. And products is a little, slightly bit more to it, but not much. One is that there is a title field, which will be the product name, and the other is that there is a lookup. So let's set up that lookup right now in here and on this product list. This is the child list. We're going to do a lookup column standard SharePoint lookup and it's going to be to the brand so we're going to call the column name is going to be brand and it's going to be a lookup and we're going to look up brand here so here we go brand and it's going to be the title of the brand there it goes title doesn't need a link and that's it uh, here so we now have it set up the products and now we have to fill it in so I'm going to pause the video why I fill that in let me get back to the products list and I'm just gonna fill in the title and brand so uh, I won't have to take time on the video to do that so I'll pause for a second and then do that as you can see the list here is building and to do this all I'm doing is going to edit of this list and adding in the names here let's see I'm up to this one now and then choosing the brand over here from the drop list. So it's just like that, nice and simple. And then choose the brand. And then you set it all up like that, so you have this product list. Okay, I'll continue and then we'll start uh, the Cascade Lookup once I finish this list. I am just about to finish the list. All the products are typed in and now I can select the brand and it can even drag it down like this and then save that list so now we have the brand brand list and the product list now that I added those lists to the site I go in back to the tickets list and I have to add two columns here in list settings I've done that already they are here a brand lookup and a product lookup they look up the list brand and they look the product one looks up the product list. So we have created two lists, one brand, one called product, and then in the tickets list itself we created a lookup to the brand list and a lookup to the product list. Now we can go into the forms, the Nitro forms, and make the changes so that we can see the cascading happening. So let's go there. So then we go to Nitro forms the tickets list and we're going to 
edit the edit form here. We're going to design it, meaning edit it a little bit. Edit the edit form here. And we're going to go to the advanced section on the left under the lookup settings. And what we're going to want to do on the additional information tab is replace brand name and product name with this new lookup. So let's go here and create the lookup first. We'll go here to configure lookup settings, new configuration. And the column that is going to be here is product, all items view. And then the cascade lookup, it says we're going to filter the values in product based on what values chosen in brand, in the parent column of brand. Okay. So in other words, what we're setting up here is that the product column will be filtered based on what is chosen in the brand column. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay, now we have to add those in here. We go here to forms controls on the left and find brand. Put that in here. Then we go here and put product in. Under it. Now, for now, I'm going to leave the brand name and product name. These are the old ones that used to use the choice column. And this is the one that had this the text, and we're replacing those with the, with the brand and product. But I'll leave it there to show the difference. Later, we'll take these off. So now I'm going to publish this. Confirm it. And now we're going to go back, once this is published, back to the tickets list and open up one of the forms for editing. such as this one in edit mode and now on the additional information tab you can see the old one here but we don't want we're going to take that out and now we have the new cascaded lookup if I choose a brand such as sticky glue I'm going to get only the sticky glue products if I choose another one uh, super caulk I'm only going to get the super caulk products like that so we have now replaced this static list and product manual entry with this cascaded lookup. To finish this, all we have to do is go back to the form and simply delete these off. And of course, you can go to list settings and delete these fields if you wish to. So there we go. We now have brand and product. That's cascaded list, as well as the original ones of account contact and category issue type are there also. That's how you create cascaded lookup in the nitro forms. Thank you.